What's up Simonix, welcome to a new vlog episode and this week we're gonna do it a bit differently because this will be kind of news show with a lot of updates around Ionic and the Ionic Academy and other projects. I tried to do this format in the last year, perhaps you remember Ionic Studio, what it is and how you can use it. And although I think the idea was good and I really enjoyed the sound and working on this new project, I think it was a bit too formal. Today we will do it a bit more relaxed, sit back, grab a nice cup of coffee or tea, whatever you prefer, and enjoy all the latest news around Ionic and the Ionic Academy and everything that's going on. Okay, let's start our journey with the Ionic Academy. Every month there's new content inside the Ionic Academy and it's kind of hard to share these things with people that are not yet members. So for everyone who's not yet a member, this is our course library and there's a new course this month on Firebase Marketplaces. Within this course, uh, we will build an application that basically has two sites. You can sign up or, uh, or you can sign in or sign up as a seller or as a buyer. So we got a little role concept going on in here. As a seller, you can create products within this uh, application. Of course, with a little uh, feedback dummy uh, for the web already in here. Test, whatever, save the product and then once you go to the uh, Ionic application for the buyer, you can buy these products, hopefully. Yes, there should be uh, the item I just added. Of course, great graphics. The idea of this course was to show a lot about the role concept, about uh, authentication with a Firebase marketplace, um, using Firebase storage to host and upload images, using security rules, and also keeping track of a wallet or a card service. This course got great feedback and based on the feedback, actually I will extend this course in the next month to also include Stripe payments. So that is something definitely to look uh, or to watch out for as a member of the Academy. Number two, we got new quick wins in the Ionic Academy. So in case you missed it, these are the two quick wins released during January. One is about building a swipe tabs navigation. Oh, and just a quick note, all of the links mentioned in this video, which will be kind of uh, kind of a lot, I guess almost 10, will be below the video. So swipe all tabs was something uh, you asked about in the past. Uh, it's basically a tab bar through which you can swipe. So that's why it's called swipeable tabs. The package was now updated to Ionic 4 a few weeks ago and we got a nice quick win on this topic. Also another quick win on multiple site menus with Ionic. This one was actually a bit challenging because the components and the names changed a bit, uh, how you refer to different menus using different menu IDs, uh, setting up all the routing inside the Ionic application. but it works now, you can have a tab bar, you can have multiple menus on the different tabs and all show different menu, the routing works. So that is the second quick win of the month. Also new or basically ongoing is a little redesign inside the Academy. Some parts are really, they, they've been like this from the beginning. So I added uh, or tried to add a, a few more colors here and there using a little shadow up here, uh, redesigning the dashboard, which is currently still in uh, progress. And also I plan to redesign the landing page and afterwards perhaps even the roadmap or the courses section, which actually has already the new design as well. So I'm not a WordPress expert. If you're interested in a little WordPress job redesigning or creating a landing page with HTML, you can actually uh, send me an email or leave a comment because I'm really not interested in doing all of this alone. But you see, I already added a little animation here and there just to make things a bit better. Let's celebrate because one of our members released a cool app, which is called Snackster app. I'm still not sure what Snackster actually means. Um, so let me look it up. Snack. Uh, in German, Aststumpf, Baumstumpf, Schwierigkeit. Doesn't really, I don't know. But I think it's a really helpful app as it looks like. It's for uh, people doing some house services or housekeeping and you can easily make an image from something that it's not correct, uh, do a little annotation and note it or resolve it and assign it to someone. This is really a great example of an Ionic project. I don't think you need a native app. 
and this one works great. From the outside, this looks really like something that could be useful for a lot of people. Moving forward into jobs, because in the past or in the last weeks especially, I get a lot of requests through Instagram, uh, Twitter, email for projects and jobs around Ionic. And of course, I can't take them all. I'm actually uh, satisfied with the projects I already got. So I thought about uh, forwarding these to the Ionic Academy members and interested Ionic developers. This one was one I got a response from someone who's actually happy and already in contact with the client and this makes me really happy that I was able to be the, the man in the middle, but this time in a, in a good way, and forward this job. And because I really enjoyed this, I also made a decision this month to make the Ionic job board once again available and for free. I started this project last year, it didn't work out as I expected, and right now I thought it's just just a pity that this cool project is just living on my hard disk. So therefore, I made a few changes to the Ionic job board and now the job board is free, which means if you got a job, if you're looking for a developer, you can now set up everything in here and it will be released after I have checked it, I think, or automatically, I'm not sure. I also added some of these already manually. You can check them out, ionicjobs.io. The page is actually also built with Ionic, of course, and as well a progressive web app. So if you're on a device, you can add this. And also you can now, I think this is covered by my image at the bottom right, subscribe to Ionic Jobs, where I will send out perhaps weekly or every 14 days, uh, depending on how many new jobs we got, uh, email to everyone on that list informing about the latest jobs around Ionic. If you want to support this project, head over to ionicjobs.io and make sure you sign up for the email list or if you're already actively looking for someone, easily create your post now, it is free, go ahead and do it. Moving forward into the next area, which is another in case you missed it, I know you subscribed and you get the updates here, but just want to quickly let you know about the new content on the main blog, which I'm not sure why I still keep the main blog in the academy, but that's that's a different topic, where I wrote about horizontal navigation for Ionic desktop views. Basically, the idea was to have a tab bar on a device, which is cool, but on a bigger screen, if we're browsing like uh, the web with a uh, standard desktop PC, a tab bar isn't that cool, and you normally uh, look for the horizontal navigation bar at the top. And within this tutorial, we create exactly this UI. I'm also uh, even more interested after the comments uh, about this to do more on Ionic desktop in the future. If you're also interested, a bit uh, different topic right now, just once again, leave a comment. Besides that, as well new how to upload files from Ionic to Firebase storage. If you're working with Firebase, uh, you should know about Firebase storage and how to work with it. This post will show you everything about it. Enough of Simon Academy and DevTactic. And now, uh, checking out the time. Okay, we're still fine. Moving into official Ionic stuff. In January, Ionic 5.0 was not released, but the release candidate was released. So release candidate one and release candidate two. They haven't announced a time frame for this, but they talked about weeks, not months. I think uh, in February or latest in March, we will see the final version of Ionic 5, which contains a lot of great things. Um, we've seen this in the December video about the changes like the iOS new card style, the animation controller, the gesture controller, so really cool things. The breaking changes are really, really, really just a few um, about some CSS. The update is nothing like 3 to 4. That was a major shift from these custom build components to web components and now moving forward uh, with Ionic 5 and then 6, everything will be really a smooth upgrade like you're used to from Angular, perhaps updating a few packages or introducing really small breaking changes like, like these here or removing the events on which we will have a tutorial soon. And you see, that's really not a long list of breaking changes. In terms of content on the official Ionic blog, I also want to update you because I follow it closely and I don't know if you do, but one of the highlights was definitely the introduction of the Ionic Animations API. Check out this post to create animations like this only with Ionic. 
I'm really looking forward to this with Ionic 5 and I will definitely do a tutorial on this but you can see a preview on the performance and the general idea behind it already on the blog. And now moving to the last element, which was a, a blog entry by Max about the no-code tragedy. We talked about no-code stuff in the last vlog and about different no-code tools. And I also mentioned already this one. At the bottom, I found this small link to an Ionic X landing page, which I haven't seen before anywhere. So it was like, like a cool post and just a little oh we got something new here you might want to check it out we've seen this as well in the last video I'm really looking forward to this I, I've said it it looks like an, an IDE builder with a drag and drop these kind of tools are not always for all uh, developers and I'm sure a lot of developers uh, won't like it but there will also be a lot of developers who like it and also people that are not into coding that can get started with this tool and then hand off the code later to a developer. That is also something new from the Ionic uh, official blog and I don't know about anything else official uh, announced yet, but uh, I know from the past that the Ionic company is always good for something special and new, so I'm, I'm sure that won't be the last thing for the year. All right, kind of a lot of updates around all my projects and Ionic stuff. I hope you uh, enjoyed this kind of news flash or news episode to uh, keep you updated. If you want to see this more often, uh, just leave a note. I won't say that I will do it every month, although I kind of plan it, but I have announced a lot of the things in the past and I couldn't follow up. So I will just see how you react to this. If you enjoy it, definitely give a thumbs up and leave a comment about all the things we talked about in this video. And of course, I will catch you next week. Have a great next week of good code, clean code, and a lot of fun in your projects. And I will see you next Tuesday in the tutorial or Thursday in our vlog. So have a great week and happy coding. Simon.